right, so the first thing that we're going to do to make our beautiful butterflies is we are going to take this paper, we're going to fold it in half. So bring it all the way down to the edge, and then spider finger walk, and then fold. Now on this fold side, you're going to put half a butterfly, just on the fold side, not on the mouth side. So we don't want our butterfly to be on the mouth side, it might be right in or something. Just put it on the fold side where it can't fall in. And then you're going to get a pencil and you're going to very carefully trace this. Now that means you have to hold this down really well. You have to hold it down with your big strong fingers here. And you're going to go around with it in your, with your pencil. I'm using a white pencil so you can see on the board, but you can just use a regular pencil as fine. Well. Cool. Alright, then what you're going to do from here is you're going to make some really big shapes. Big shapes. You want this to be big. If you don't want your butterfly to be all black, you want it to have lots of pretty colors. So I'm going to make a big circle here and a big triangle there and maybe another big triangle down here. See how big these are? And maybe another big circle and maybe like a big rectangle right here. Alright. Now, we're going to cut everything out. I'm going to take carefully cutting it around. Careful cut, careful cut, careful cut, careful cut. Careful cut, careful cut, careful cut, careful cut. I don't need that. Careful cut, carefully, carefully, carefully. Just like that. Okay, now, the idea here is that I cut circle out on this side of the butterfly and that side of the butterfly at the same time, making it symmetrical. The way we can do that is we fold this and we give it a little cut right in the middle of the shape. Boop! Like that. Now we can get our scissors in there. See how I can get my scissors in there now? And then I can go to my line and cut it around. Carefully cutting my nice big Shape. Nice big shape. Cut, 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 cut. Don't need that. Do I throw this on the floor? No, I make sure that it gets in the recycling bin. Alright, now I need to get into my triangle, so I give it a little fold. Give it just a little cut. Just a little tiny boop, cut. Just enough so I can get my scissors in there. And now I can go to my edge and carefully cut. Carefully cut. Carefully cut. Cut out a triangle. There it is. Now I have a triangle hole, which is what I want. Time for my rectangle. Fold. Little cut. Put my scissors in. Whoop. Now I'm making a mistake here, and I don't realize I'm making a mistake here. So I'm going to show you how I'm making a mistake here in just a second. When I did my fold, I cut it, and then when I put my scissors in, what happened is I didn't put my scissors all the way through. Look, it's not a hole! Oh my gosh! That's okay. You know what I can do? Is I can just go back and I can cut this rectangle out on the other side through the same hole here until it's actually a hole. Because I want my butterfly to be the same on both sides, because that's what butterflies are. They're symmetrical, the same on both sides. My last one, right here. Oops. Making sure I'm cutting out both of them. Look at these nice, big, beautiful shapes inside my butterfly. And then, what's so cool about this is when I open it up, it's a beautiful butterfly, but it is symmetrical on both sides, but we need to have some pretty colors in here, and this is when it gets really fun. After you're done with this, you're going to raise your hand, 
and teacher will come around and give you a piece of paper. And you're gonna take a piece of paper and you're gonna fold it in half like this. And once you've got it folded, you're going to write your name and your class code on the back, right here. So I'm Mrs. Boone and K whatever. So K1, K2, K3, whichever. Open it up and raise your hand. And then the teacher will come around with the three primary colors. Yellow, red, blue. And the three primary colors are what we need. And the teacher, not you my dear, but the teacher will come and give you a little swirl of yellow, a little swirl of blue, dots of blue, and a little swirl and dots of red. Like that. And then you fold it, and from the fold, this time you again you want the fold, you're going to squishy it out. You can kind of even see it through the paper. Squishy it out, squishy it out. It might fall out of your page a little bit. That's okay, we'll wipe that up later with the wipe. Squishy it, 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 squishy it. Squishy it, squishy it, out from the fold. Squishy, 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 squishy. And then you're going to open it back up. Open it back up and look at that. And then you know what you do? Put the fold of your butterfly right there in the fold of the paint and push down on just the black so you don't get your fingers dirty. Pushing down on the black and that paint will act like glue. That paint will act like glue. And then, later this week, the teacher will go and cut out all of this and you will have a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. It will be awesome. So go put this in the dry room. And here is it all cut out and uh, glued onto a blue, light blue background for a sky. And this is what yours will look like.